Hey, it's Elliot here. Today, I've got something super useful for all you Apple users out there. We're diving into the world of unlocking, specifically how to remove that pesky iPhone lock to owner message, also known as the iCloud activation lock. I know how frustrating it can be when you're stuck with a locked device. Trust me, I've been there and it's no fun, but don't worry, I've got your back. We're going to explore multiple legal and effective ways to free your device from this lock. Whether it's an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch, I'll guide you through each method step by step just like I would with any of my friends. So let's get started and unlock the potential of your device together. Quick heads up before we continue. I'm here to help those who own their gadgets but forgot their login details. No funny business or illegal stuff here. Let's keep it clean and stick to YouTube's rules. Awesome, let's dive back in. All right, let's talk about some of the services that can help you with the iPhone lock to owner issue. I remember a while back when my buddy had the same problem with his iPhone we discovered a few reliable services that can really make a difference. First up, there's Safe Unlocks. It's straightforward and has helped a lot of people. Then there's Lock to Owner, another solid choice that's been around for a bit. Don't forget about iUnlock app. It's got some neat features. And of course, there's Unlock Here's AI powered unlocking web app, which is pretty innovative with its AI approach. These services stand out because they're user-friendly and have a good track record. I'm just sharing options that could save you time and hassle. Each of these services takes a slightly different approach, but they all aim to solve your locked device issue efficiently. Speaking of efficiency, in just a bit, we'll dive into how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. It's a cool tool that simplifies the process even more, so hang tight for that. Just a heads up, the Unlock services we've been talking about mainly work in first world countries. So if you're not in one of these countries or if you prefer not to use these services, there's still a chance for you. Every week we offer 250 unlocks for our viewers. Here's what you need to do to get in on this opportunity. Simply like this video and hit the subscribe button. Then leave a comment below with your phone model. Say, for example, iPhone 8, your IMI number and the country you're in. That's all it takes. As soon as you complete these steps, you're automatically entered into our weekly unlock giveaway. It's that easy, so why not give it a shot? To unlock your mobile phone, including iPhones, iPads, and Apple Watches, start by opening your browser and heading to unlockhere.com. This website uses an AI assistant, Nifty, to help you through the process. Once there, click on Activation Lock to indicate you need an iCloud unlock. Choose your device type, iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. For iPhones, you'll need the IMEI number, which all iPhones have. If you're unlocking an iPad or Apple Watch, they might have an IMI if they have cellular capability, otherwise use the serial number. To find this, press the sleep button on your device, then press it again and tap the eye icon at the bottom right to see your device info. Once you've gathered the device info, enter it to proceed. Next, enter your basic information to link the order to your account. Be sure to use real details because you'll receive a confirmation code via email that you'll need to confirm. After entering your info, agree to the terms, confirming you're not unlocking a stolen device. Before proceeding, complete a quick CAPTCHA by clicking I'm not a robot, then click start process and you're on your way. Keep an eye on your email inbox for the confirmation code. Sometimes it might end up in the spam or junk folder, so be sure to check there as well. Once you've received the code, input it back on unlock here. Shortly after, complete the robot verification step and ensure to tap the button to validate the information. And just like that, the unlocking process begins. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. Removing the iCloud lock from your device can be done in two ways. The first method involves contacting Apple support directly. Here's how to proceed. Get your device's original purchase invoice ready. 
contact Apple support. You can do this either online or by phone. Explain the situation that your device is locked and you need to remove the iCloud activation lock. Provide them with the invoice details when asked. They might need specific information like the purchase date, store details, or device serial number. Follow any additional instructions they give. They might ask for more details to verify your ownership. The second method involves resetting your Apple ID, which is the account linked to the locked device. Here's what to do. Visit the Apple ID official website. Look for the option to reset your Apple ID password. You will be prompted to enter some security details. This could include answering security questions or receiving a verification code on a trusted device or phone number. Once you have successfully reset your password, use these new credentials to log into your device. Both of these methods are effective for removing the iCloud lock, provided you have the necessary information at hand. Choose the one that best suits your situation iCloud Unlock. Software can be a solution for unlocking your device, but remember it needs a Windows computer, so it's not available for everyone. Here's how it works. There are many iCloud Unlock software options out there, but be careful as not all of them work. You'll need to pick one that's reliable and has good reviews. Whenever you're downloading software, there's a risk of getting malware. That's why it's super important to make sure you're downloading from a safe, trustworthy source. Once you have the right software, you install it on your Windows computer, then you usually connect your iPhone to the computer and follow the software's instructions to start the unlocking process. However, if you're worried about the risks of downloading software, or if you don't have a Windows computer, you might want to consider online services like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks. These are safer because they don't require you to download anything. You just use their websites to unlock your iPhone, which is a lot simpler and lowers the risk of accidentally getting malware. If the seller of your iPhone is willing to help, they can remove the iCloud lock for you. This method works well if you can get in touch with the previous owner. Here's a simple guide for them to follow. Uh, the seller should go to iCloud.com and sign in with their iCloud account details. This is the account that's currently linked to your iPhone. Once logged in, they need to click on Find iPhone. This feature shows all the devices connected to their iCloud account. In Find iPhone, they should find and select your specific iPhone, the one locked to the owner. After selecting the right device, they need to click on Erase. This action will remotely wipe your iPhone, including the iCloud lock. Finally, they should click on Remove from Account. This step disconnects your iPhone from their iCloud account, clearing the way for you to set it up as your own. With these steps, the seller can effectively remove the iCloud lock from your iPhone, allowing you to use it without restrictions. Thanks for staying with us throughout this tutorial. We hope it has successfully provided the solutions you needed.